Hey guys, my name is Ryan and welcome to Overwatch Central. So we're actually going to do something on the channel that we've never actually done before, surprisingly, and that's looking over some really cool concept arts and different ideas that have come out recently. The thing that inspired this video was a live stream that came out of the Blizzard HQ because they have their streaming studio, who of course are known for putting on big events like PAX Prime and PAX East, but of course are well known for the comics that I believe Gabe and Jerry draw up themselves. These were the two people on stream at least, and so there was a little bit of kind of a competition almost, where Gabe had to drop concept arts of heroes that the Twitch chat came up with, alongside Arnold Zhang, who is one of the main people that designs concept stuff. Met him at BlizzCon last year, he did a lot of stuff to do with Moira, so he was chatting a lot about the hero and the mechanics there. But generally, it was just a case of Twitch chat came up with some concepts, and they drew them. And these were the pictures that came out of there. The first two were concepts, I believe, of a bat, hero and then the next two that you've seen on screen now came from a tank hero both of which looking very unique and I love the different art styles but that's just one thing that I wanted to highlight in today's video because I've been meaning to talk about this concept art for quite some time that I really wanted to highlight which came out of Nyx also known as Nicholas Amarisia. The hero is Voltico, and you'll see just some of the concept arts drawn up by him. There's a lot of really good concept arts out here, however this hero has some really cool backstory and some really solid abilities actually that I wanted to highlight him uh, completely in this video. The writer was Mario Menstati, you can find all of their details in the description below if you want to check out some of the other stuff that they've worked on. But as I said, this is Voltico, you can see that he's an Omnic with more Omnic parts, big mecha arms, and I believe he plays in the tank role. To go over Voltico's story, there's a lot here, so I'll try and shorten it down to a fairly uh, standard point. He was a member of the Shambhali, alongside Mondata and Zenyatta, and after the assassination of Mondata, he kind of went off the rails a little bit and started to really hate the human race. He became much more aggressive, filled with hatred, and he felt that the only answer that he had was to try and find Zenyatta to look for some more answers that he wanted. But upon meeting Zenyatta, he discovered that he had a human as a student, of course Genji, which only made him more angry, and certainly sent him off kilter. The last paragraph is pretty cool. Humanity is a relic of the past, a parasite that expanded too much and damaged the world too much. The Omnics are the only cure. Does of Voltika's ideals? Said actions quickly marked him as a terrorist. Voltico is arrogant and charismatic, burning with determination and hatred. His scorn for his brothers, who in eyes abandoned him, is only topped by his hatred of mankind. He was also manipulated by Talon, which would be an interesting sort of aspect, but certainly I do want to see more Omnics in the game anyway. I know it's really sort of difficult to try and put personality on a bot, but I do think that there's a lot of stuff in there that I really wanted to highlight. But I definitely want to go over some of the abilities. We'll start with the Primify, which is Iris Breaker, which is a close range melee ability that doesn't just cause damage but can also serve as shields blocking incoming attacks when you time these abilities right. But what's even cooler is that Voltico perverts and corrupts the Iris, forcibly channeling and creating powerful rifts in front of him. I think he does that with his Omnic arms on his back, but the idea of seeing the Iris used more in the game and seeing it corrupted in a sense would be really cool too. So really wanted to highlight that one. Iris Blast seems more like a knockback wave, which is a short range. It has three levels of charge. But the third level also works as a shield, like his main fire, depending on the level he uses to cool down, it's a different effect. Savage Pounce basically works like a leap ability. He jumps forwards towards the enemy, but if he lands on them, he will knock the enemy closest to his landing down and will deal big damage. Also, if he hits a wall, he can bounce off it and hit an enemy, dealing low knockback and lower damage. And lastly, of course, because he is a Shambhali monk, he also has orbs like Zenyatta. However, instead of how many discord, if he puts a capture orb on a target, it decreases their speed and slows them down for a limited duration, but it needs sight to work. He also has a passive that's called Unstable, which is when his HP is reduced to a point, his main and alt fire damage will increase and he will deal low TBS to any enemy close to him. Which again is a very cool passive, I don't know how useful it would be in a lot of general senses, but knowing that you can't really leave Voltico alone for too long, otherwise he might just turn around and kill everyone, it certainly really sort of ties with the character. Of course this character isn't real, that doesn't really need me to sort of explain, but I like the idea that all of his story, how he looks and his abilities, these all tied together. But of course you have his ultimate, which is a very unique interaction. He uses his extra arms to hit the floor beneath him, creating an area of knockback and DPS. 
Each wave will push them further away from the center, which sounds fairly straightforward, but the nearer they are to the border, the higher the damage they will be. Voltico can be affected by CC when using this ultimate. So instead of doing more damage like Meteor Strike, hitting people close to you in the center, it actually has an effective range where it's a little bit stronger, and you want to try and hit that cusp as much as you possibly can. Which again is a really cool interaction, so whilst Voltico seems to be a close range hero, he has a lot of abilities that allow him to create some range for himself where he's a lot stronger. So I think he'd be a hero that is really effective in positional awareness, not just holding W and left click. You need to be a little bit smarter, especially when it comes to using your ult. This kind of stuff I really, really like when you have a good hero, a good backstory and the good abilities all synergizing well to create a really solid basic idea of a hero. I really like that instead of just the design of a hero or naming some abilities. When people have stuff to show like this, I really want to show more of it. And of course the stuff that I mentioned before with uh, Penny Arcade and the stream that they did, it kind of made me think, for 2019, do you want to see more concept videos like this? We are a channel that like to show off the community in terms of streamers and pros. I don't see why we can't do that with some of the well-known content creators that do really good concept art. But do let me know what you think of this, whether you want to see more or not at all. That's also fine, let me know in the comments below. And we'll end the video there. Not a long video at all, but thank you very much for watching. Do check out all of the stuff from Nex and also Mario in the description below. Take care, we'll see you then. Merry Christmas if I don't see you beforehand. Happy holidays.